Okay, well, welcome everybody to DEF CON 30, the DEF CON Group's VR Village. We're really happy that you're here. We're excited. We're going to be having some talks. People have asked if these are actual regular DEF CON talks, and yes, they are. They're only going to be appearing here. We are streaming live to Twitch, so try to keep uh, any conversations PG. The conversations will be picked up by this fellow here on the right of the, if you're in the bleachers, in the right-hand side of the bleachers, with the red shirt hovering, that's a bot who's actually sees the slides and listens to the speakers and streams it to Twitch. So if you're in any place else in the event area, uh, you won't be picked up by that microphone only when you're standing next to them. So we'd like to thank you for all being here. We're really excited because we've got people from all over the planet here at the moment. So our first speaker is uh, Jason Street. Uh, hold on a second, I need my bio. Oh man, it's um, a second. <laughs> Unfortunately, it grabbed my keyboard and wouldn't let me switch apps. There we go. Okay. So, uh, Jason Street is a hacker, author, speaker, and scientific hooligan. You can find him at, at DefCon Groups and at Hack Not or Hack Not Crime. And he's an ambassador for learning and always hoping to teach. So he's on the DEF CON board. We'd like to thank Jason here today, who's going to give us our keynote speech. So take it away, Jason. Hello. How's it going, everyone? It's going all right. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'd like to uh, start off with uh, thanking everyone for being here. It's like, uh, this is like one of our first main beta tests. And of course, we just rush it to production because yellow. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, I think it's going to be great. We did this at DEF CON uh, 28. That was canceled. hopefully eventually to some point monthly so we can keep this global village going uh, year round. Uh, it's like uh, also over here uh, with the, the wonderful guy with the nice cool hat with looks like goggles, that uh, with the blue hoodie and white bottom right there uh, in the front row, uh, he is actually going to be, he is at DEF CON right now in the contest area and we will be broadcasting in the contest area live uh, for DEF CON, and we're going to allow uh, people that are visiting DEF CON to control uh, this uh, uh, bot. It's like to go around and actually just see the DEF CON groups village in VR while they're actually at DEF CON. So it's sort of like a connection that we can have uh, in the VR and DEF CON at the same time. Uh, so I'd like to, I want to just got that out of the way. Um, I do not have a prepared speech uh, because that would require adulting and uh, being a uh, you know professional. Uh, so sorry about that. Uh, but I do have some things that I was like, if I've got time to talk to DEF CON group people around the world, what would I say? Uh, and so I want to say a couple of things. It's like uh, I want to start off with like the heavy stuff and then go off with like the light stuff. But, you know, when Jason always goes off on a rant, there's always heavy stuff. So I apologize in advance for that. Um, but the one thing I do want to start off with is uh, there is a DEF CON groups area online, not just in VR, where you can go to DEF CON groups dot org, which will then take you to the uh, forum group for DEF CON. So uh, look for a DEF CON group in your area. Look for uh, and uh, see if there's a local group in your area and see that. Uh, and then also go and uh, look at some of the other groups. It's like try to be uh, interactive, try to connect different groups. It's like see what y'all can do, what side projects you can do. That's the whole reason why the forum is there is to connect hackers uh, from all over the world. So uh, hopefully uh, that will happen and you'll be able to do that. Um, also understand uh, setting up a DEF CON groups uh, can be easy and difficult at the same time. Uh, it's extremely easy to get one, uh, but to do it properly uh, is the other uh, key uh, that sometimes we seem to lose. So always remember when you're starting the DEF CON groups that you're doing a DCG, 
uh, you are not DEFCON, your city. Uh, it's, it's not, it's a DEFCON it, groups is part of DEFCON, but it's not like its own DEFCON thing. It is part of DEFCON. So it's a DEFCON groups. Uh, so make sure you do set that up and, and you state that in your group, uh, uh, your DCG group designation. You're actually putting the title DCG or DEFCON groups and the number that's assigned to you. Uh, so, uh, and trust me, just to get this out of the way, 1337. No, sorry. F <laughs> DCG 42. Nope, not going to happen. It's like, and there's also another uh, DCG 420. I don't think so, uh, but it's like possibly. Uh, but I'm just telling you, a lot of the DCGs, uh, they try to go with like a prime number or they try to go with a, it's going to be based off your area code from the old, you know, uh, BB, uh, uh, BBSs, uh, uh, Telefreak, you know, it's like, you know, the old, old days. And that's where it's based off of the area code of the city or area that you're in. And yes, there can be more than one DEF CON group in an area. Uh, it'll just be the DCG, the number, and then a dash A. Uh, and then if there's more than one, because there are some cities that have over 20 million people. Uh, and so, yeah, there can be a DCG uh, dash A or dash B uh, to make sure everybody is represented and everybody has a chance. And these uh, DEF CON groups are to meet and promote the DEF CON hacking spirit, where it's like we're sharing information. We're trying to be educational. We're trying to have a positive impact on our communities and our local hackers. It's like DEF CON uh, does it globally. We try to do it, you know, locally. So, uh, and we're trying to affect that change locally. So try to actually get that. It's like when you're trying to be at a DEF CON group, you're trying to connect with your local hackers in that area before DEF CON comes back around. Uh, but at the same time, that means the same uh, COC, the same rules apply as it would at DEF CON. Uh, we've had issues with certain DEF CON groups that are actually trying to do uh, some illegal things, uh, maybe for the right reasons, but it's the wrong way. We cannot promote that in uh, DEF CON groups and DEF CON groups official channels. Uh, we, that is not the correct way to go about it. Uh, you don't affect change. Uh, well, actually, sometimes you do affect change by committing crimes, uh, but it's like some of the ones that were expressively uh, sent out are not it. Uh, so we need to be careful about that and also understand that we are a global community. And that's all nice when we're all talking about uh, Kumbaya, everybody getting together, everybody agreeing with how things should be. But when our countries come into conflict, we sometimes forget that the DEF CON group is not about the politics or the government, it's about the people who live in that country. We are united as hackers. That's our tribe. It's like, it's not our geographical ethnicity. It's not our uh, political ethnicity. It is our tribe. It is our cultural ethnicity that I'm talking about. It's like, and that's what we need to remember. Everybody wants to make it black and white, which is totally outdated, flawed, and never right to begin with in the first place. It's like, so we need to talk ethnicity. It's like, and as my tribe, as my cultural tribe that I identify with, it's hackers. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world. You're part of my tribe. It's like, be it in Iran, be it in Russia, be it in Paraguay, even the Paraguayans, no offense to any Paraguayans, like, but they know what happened. It's any country in the world, if there's a hacker there, you're part of my tribe. It doesn't matter what your government is doing. It doesn't matter what my government is doing. We still together we still share our common interest it's like we should not let these kind of conflicts tear us apart and say well because this thing is happening and is horrible i have to say you're horrible as well that's not the way it should be you need to understand 
that those people that are in those DEF CON groups, they don't affect the change. They don't make the government do what it's doing. They're just as much a victim in most times to the government as the other ones are from other countries. When the U.S. It's like got involved and had did invasions, and when they did, and they uh, propped up government regimes in other countries. I was not happy about that. I protested. I said that those things were wrong. It doesn't make me a person who's unpatriotic. It's like I love my country enough to say we can do better, but I can't be hated by other countries because. So why do we expect that other people should be held accountable for what their governments are doing? I will go anywhere in the world that I'm invited and welcomed. It's like, because it doesn't matter what an invisible line on a map says. It's like, we are one tribe. We are hackers and we need to remember that more, especially in the way the world is today. It's like if, the apocalypse and COVID has taught us anything. We are a highly connected world. It's like information moves at the tra uh, speed of light. Viruses almost as fast. It's like because we are so interconnected. So stop trying to say that these little divisions are separating us. That's not the way it works. That's not the way it should ever work. We establish who our tribe is we establish it's like what we want our tribe to be not the government not cultural norms in the country that we reside in but as a global community we say this is what we stand for this is what's acceptable and the beauty of the hacking culture and the hacking ethnicity is not everybody's going to agree and that's totally okay. As long as you're not harming others, roll your own way. As long as you're doing no harm, roll your own way. But also respect other people's views and how they see the world. So I, am, I will always, always say when i'm having a thing in, in a uh, and especially in a uh, in an online debate with someone i will get to the point where i will say look this is your point this is mine i'm going to respectfully disagree and that's okay i don't have to win the argument it's like i don't have to let them lose i can just say hey we're going to respectfully disagree move on it doesn't have to be a fight. Every one of the things I love about all space VR and having this event here is that that's a person. 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 That's a bot. That's a person. That's a person. That's a person. That's a bot. It's like just like in real life online. You got bots and you got real people, but the majority of them are real. Behind every keyboard, you are dealing with a real person, dealing with real problems in the place that they're living in. Why do we forget that so often? That is why DEF CON groups are so important. That is why DEF CON is so important. Because once a year, you can meet up in hot, stinky Vegas, it's like, and realize, oh, you're real. This is what you look like in real life. I get to actually, you know, hug if that's okay for you. I get to actually talk to you and share and like, you know, enjoy time and have dinner with you and share a moment in the real life, not behind a keyboard, not by an avatar. You start realizing that there's actually people attached to those avatars, to those handles, to those names on the keyboard. DEF CON groups allows you to do that as well because you get to meet with hackers that you've never met maybe except for online and they live in the same city as you 
for years. And then you get to meet up with them in real life. And now you have friends. I do not know about you, but with my social anxiety and being on the spectrum, making friends as an adult is hard. It's like, I mean, it was really worse in high school, but it's like even hard now. It's like, so why would you pass up the opportunity to meet with your local friends, your local tribe? It's like in your city. I mean, yeah, you're going to have to probably put on pants or pajamas, you know, it's like whichever, you know, is acceptable. But still, it's like you get to see them in real life. And that's what counts. And yes, I've attended uh, some groups uh, in pajama bottoms. Uh, Don't judge me. Uh, So that's how it's supposed to be, people. That's what DEF CON groups is all about. While we're here sharing information, while we're up here sharing this information and talking and networking, you actually get to the, the lucky ones that are in the VR right now get to actually see the people that they're talking to. They actually get to join conversations. It's like, I hope that other people will, more and more people will see how cool this is and get more people participating in doing this because this application is free with a registration. It's like, and uh, it's like, like we can't make, you know, fake email addresses. It's like, but well, a free registration and it runs on any platform. That's what it's about. That's what's so cool. So start connecting. Don't just be in these events and, and speak and listening to the speakers. One, start speaking up and becoming a speaker because we need more voices in this community. We need more speakers from all walks of life in this community. It's like, but also socialize, get to know some of these people. It's like start to understand because we all understand that one thing right now for certain. You're part of my tribe. You're a hacker. There is no bar. There is no gate. F the gatekeepers. If there was a gate, you jump it. We're hackers or go under it or around it. Who cares? That shouldn't matter to us. So don't let those things stop you. It's like, so welcome uh, to here. Welcome for being here. Uh, This was a very short keynote because once again, uh, not adulting or professional, Uh, but what I would like to do is open it up for questions. If you have questions about DEF CON groups, if you have, actually I answer any questions. So it's like, you've got any questions, just and be, be warned, I do not filter. Uh, so I always like to say that as a disclaimer. So if you ask me a question nine times out of 10, I'm going to answer it. 9.9% out of 10. I'm, so we'll, leave, we'll let it open for anybody that wants to ask a question. Uh, they can ask a question uh, right now. We got a question right here. I'm some person here. Uh, hey, Hello. it's Jess. Hey, it's Jess. Yes. Hello, um, I have a question. Basically, what if there isn't really like a DEF CON group in your specific area? How do you make one? Oh my gosh, I love that. Hey, it's just, I don't. Hmm? Yep. How do you Uh-oh. make one? And uh, because that's what I always tell people. It's like, if find your local DEF CON group and there, if there isn't one, start one. That's your invitation to start one. And you start it by uh, emailing and we'll probably eventually put the link up on the, on the, on, on the screen or on the side. Uh, but it's literally just going to uh, either DCG groups. I'm going to say it wrong. Uh, I need an adult. Uh, but it's literally sending an email, but going to defcongroups.org first, uh, it will actually have the FAQ, which will actually walk you through on the email, who you send it to, and then what you need to fill in for the application. So uh, so just go to defcongroups.org, then look for the, uh, the FAQ and look for the introduction, which shows you that information. Uh, and also remember, that there are volunteers that are the ones that are handling the application. We are trying to knock those out as quickly as possible, uh, but life happens. Uh, It's like uh, an apocalypse has happened. So it's like, some take longer than others. 
but we will be around and we will be available. Uh, so, uh, submit uh, from defcongroups.org. Are there any other questions? Oh, there's, by the way, there's going to be a talk this afternoon at one o'clock on how to start and run a group. Oh, that's great. At one o'clock uh, PST, there is going to be a talk on how to start your own group. Perfect. I should have started off with, but I forgot to look at the schedule. I don't filter. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so are there any other questions? If one can't sorry, if one can't make it yes. to an if one can make it to an event, is it's recorded, right? Uh, on uh, DevCon groups, I, uh, it depends on the. Oh, for here, yeah. Is this? Are these recorded? I'm not sure if the DCG. Yes. Uh, uh, the yes, they are recorded because Twitch and we are recording them. Okay, good. Awesomeness. These guys are awesome. Once again, we should all give some clapping to uh, the team here. Uh, I had hardly anything to do with all this. It was the volunteers. It's the people who are putting in time. Uh, X-Ray, 800XL. It's like so many other people that I'm forgetting because, you know, I didn't plan. Uh, but those are the ones that actually make this happen. This whole go explore this space. This was done with love and respect for DEF CON. All the little hidden little Easter eggs uh, just warms my heart every time I go through it including checking out the roof on the pool. Uh, it's like, which is my favorite. Uh, so yes, uh, not this, this roof, but uh, in the other area, it's like, but definitely check it out. Check out the whole area. There's history in here. Uh, go have a Trevor milkshake. It's like, go see some of the other things that are here and it'll be awesome. It's like, I definitely just think it's a really cool thing for y'all to be able to see and do. Uh, hopefully if we get enough interest, we will start doing these monthly. Uh, and there'll be more socializing and, and more and we'll have speakers as well. Uh, I think that'll be such a great thing. So uh, please get involved in your local areas uh, for DEF CON groups uh, and also for the global village. Uh, try to be there as well. Uh, and also it's like I hope to see you uh, at DEF CON at some point uh, for a hug or just a hello. Uh, either way is fine with me. So um, you all take care. Uh, it was great. I'm going to actually now uh, run. My, my Oculus is actually fogged up because I ran all the way from the contest area to get over here in time for this uh, talk. And now I'm going to go run all the way back to the contest area. And I will be in the contest area uh, for DEF CON till 1 p.m. Uh, PST talking to people, uh, showing them the virtual reality area. Uh, I will also probably getting on the uh, bot. Uh, for the DCG guest right over here. Uh, he's up in the upper uh, audience now. Um, it's like, I will actually be meeting with all of those uh, people. Uh, it's like uh, online and in person uh, at DEF CON uh, in about 30 minutes or so. So I hope to see you there. Uh, and I hope to see you in here still uh, a little bit later when we socializing, uh, but you all take care. Thanks again for showing up. Because this doesn't happen without you. Local DEF CON groups do not happen without you. This stuff doesn't occur in a vacuum. And it takes patience. And it takes time. And it takes effort. And it's not always easy. But that's okay because we're hackers. We're used to difficult. We're used to making it more difficult. But still, we're used to difficult. We can do this. So I hope to see y'all uh, creating these DEF CON groups, spreading this kind of uh, ethos and understanding and welcoming more people to our tribe. Because seriously, as hackers, everybody is welcome in this tribe. Uh, everyone that means well for everyone else. There's always a caveat, people. It's like, because we're dealing with humans. But seriously, <laughs> Most Not of the people who mean right. well, who are trying to make things better, you're welcome in this tribe. We need more helpers in this tribe, in this world. Start trying to be that more. Bye. Bye. Mic drop. See you. Thank you, Jason, and thank you for. Thank uh, you.
Thanks, Jason. Thanks, today. Very cool. Have, have a you. good time in meat space. I'm going to try. Okay. Do you get There's, uh, again? Our, next, our next speaker will be here at, uh, let's see, that'll be 11 o'clock Vegas time. That's uh, roughly 20, 36 minutes from now. And the talk will be on uh, cyber attack trends in 2022 by John Clay. So uh, make sure you're back here to see that. By the way, if you're, there are screens in some of the other areas that you can actually watch and listen to the talk from those areas. You don't actually have to be in this room, but. Yeah, use this oh. 30 minutes to explore the whole area. Go explore the for the Easter eggs. Go look to, and explore and see what the other rooms are. There's other rooms involved, not just this area. See yeah, the go have fun and there. explore. Seeing I'm, the badge back there give me major feels. Because I've, I've, I've moved to Asia and now I got a kid and I'm not going to be able to go back to Vegas for a while. But seeing, seeing the little badge display over there, that really like give me big feels. <laughs> awesome. That, that's what it's all about. So I'm I'm really excited for that. In the back. Yep. And, oh, and if you notice on the bar, it's it's got a, a milkshake. That's from the Trevor uh, Grifter uh, 801 uh, incident at DerbyCon. It's like the uh, Trevor uh, cockroach in the milkshake uh, joke. So it's fun. so. Uh, but there's all little things like that. They're everywhere. It's like you just got to find them. So spend the 30 minutes just looking around and. You don't understand the effort it took to create these things out of all out of scratch. The the developers deserve all the credit for this. They did so much wonderful work uh, to 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 put these kind of little touches in there. So uh, y'all take care. I got to take off now. <laughs>